like 20. And I'm like, this is like. That, that's they, just kind of how you deal with tether characters in general. Yeah. They always, every tether character has the same has the property where once they hit the tether, they'll immediately do a certain action. I even sort of zero seal, they'll swing the Belmont's and they'll go straight at the ledge. And as long as you can see where they're going to go at, you can hit them and then. Yeah. You're right. Look, look like an MM Leo versus. I don't know who this one is. Ah, so he does play Mega Man. Wonderful. Yeah, he's a Mega Man from San Diego, from what I heard. Okay, so he's playing against. Who else is here? Why am I playing this guy so early? Ah, uh, I only saw AC. Oh, I'm, Meteor. I'm fourth seed? Okay, Cyro's here, that's why. Okay. Cyro AC. Okay, so I'm fourth seed. Okay. Who's fifth? MM Leo? Doesn't, does, does four play five? Yeah, it does. So, MM Leo is actually fifth seed. Okay. Good to know. I was curious. Okay, Mega Man vs. Joker. This matchup is a little bit wonky. It's I don't think I've ever seen this. It's going to be a little bit hard because the way I, the way I see it is Joker is a heavy whip punish character. He has a lot of good tools. That they're fast. They come out, but not a lot of them are actually safe on shield. The only thing I can think of is retreating bear. Yeah. And it's going to be hard to whip punish Mega Man because Ooh. yep, caught the knockback on the bomb with the down smash. If I get to this guy, I gotta be I gotta, I gotta be on my game. Got oh my god, he, he's on it today. Yeah. He's all his setup. I feel like it's going to be hard for Joker to do anything because he can he has to whip punish a lot of the stuff. And Mega Man being one of his characters kind of throws out projectiles at a safer range, it's going to be hard to get in on it. Yes. I'm surprised he doesn't use any counters on projectiles. I feel like it's because Mega Man has a lot of projectiles, but a lot of them are weak hits. So there's not really that. much there's not really much benefit for going for a counter because most of the time he'll throw it out and then he'll be out of the way of the knockback or yeah. the reflection. Ooh, imagine you want Oh, what? He up air? He tried to up air, but fell down. Fast fell, got hit by Rush, and Emin went through a tornado, which caught him on the Okay, I didn't back. see the tornado. Yeah. There we go. He threw the upper out. See, yeah. at this point, I would just absorb everything. You, like, give me Arsene again. And yeah, that's the one thing you should be doing. This you know Arsene I mean? just makes Joker infinitely better, and that Arsene is what allows Joker to go in more because then the moves become safer, the more scary to get hit by. Yeah, and I mean, just especially versus a zoner, wouldn't you just want to absorb everything to force them to approach? You know I what I like mean? While at the same time, you don't want to get Arsene too early because if you get it too early, then you don't really get too much out of it. That's and true. you'd probably, against a character like Mega Man where he's really heavy, you'd probably want it around kill percent rather than just like early. Because you can still see, you can get a decent percent off even without Arsene at well, against the heavy character at the beginning. That that's one thing. Should we really be Rebels guarding Crash Bomb? Because that gives like 90% of our really? Yes. Wow. So our sin based off percentage and the amount of hits you get hit by. So if you Rebels guard. And all of that too? Yeah. So the, the amount of hits plus the amount of damage that the bomb, or the bomb does. If you Rebels guard it, you get most of our sin immediately. Wow. So I think. This game might be going to MM Leo. Yeah, Dro Toxic seems to have a lot of trouble trying to get in. And, like, right there. He got Arsene, but it wasn't really at a time he wanted because he had to get in first. I think this stage gave him too much space. It definitely did. And Toxic is kind of just jumping at Leo, not really waiting for him to throw an option out. And that's, like, the biggest mistake I see a lot of beginning Jokers do. They play the character, like, rush down. They see Leo, who's a really good at pressure and calling people out, and they want to go in immediately, but you need to kind of wait for your opponent to mess up first, then you first him. Yeah. I, I, I heavily believe that Joker is a good punish character. So, Evan Leo doing a really good job keeping Toxic out, just waiting for him, just calling out all of his approach options, watching the rush down. Also, Evan Leo does not really using Rebel Guard at all. He hasn't. I think he's just... I don't think I've seen him use counter once. He used it a few times, but that's with the actual Arsene out. Yeah. But this, this is going to be a different story. This is a little bit better. He can approach better now. He's a lot more pressure shield, pressure options. And Roy can kill Mega Man he's gonna relatively he's early. He's going to slice those lemons, dude. Watch. He's going to rush him down. But he needs to watch out. See, why don't... Isn't it just best to hold shield versus leaf shield? Because yeah, he can't he can't grab. He, he can't has do anything. He has to let it go. Win, yeah, and if you just hold shield, he doesn't do anything, and then he can push punish if he yeah. runs on top of you. And it's also it actually is really weird to hit him when leaf shield's out because really? of how extended the hitbox is outward. Leaf shield's pretty far out, so unless you have a really long range reaching move, you can't really hit him. And or either that or you have to hit him before it actually comes out completely. This has been a lot closer of a game. Yeah, he has a lot more rushing option. Mm -hmm. Closer quarter stage. Mm -hmm. not, a lot of, not a lot of zoning. It's also harder to hit him because he's so much faster on the ground. Oh, exactly. 
Nice shield. Just trying to let up with the F-Tilt. A little bit too early, Wolf. Unfortunately, Ooh, but catches the Metal Blade with the Now back Toxic is back in it, dude. And Lil, it seems like he's struggling just to death. A little bit to the, the pressure that Toxic is able to throw out now. I see a lot more of his uh, general neutral in his gameplay with his Roy. Because I felt like he wasn't super... He, he didn't look like he was comfortable playing Joker. Yeah, he kept trying to... He, he looks... He looks like he, when, now that you look at his Roy, it looks like he's trying to play Joker like his Roy. Exactly. With the short off aerial, he's kind of trying to jump in and out between him. And it does help that Joker, or not Joker, that uh, Roy is a fastballer, so it's easier for him to move over off, up and onto the ground and off at the same time. Yeah. Oh, nice. catch the shield poke on the crash. With That's the sneaky. Fist. Yeah. Crash Bomber did a lot of shield damage, and he was able to get the down air to shield poke and kill him off the side. Ooh, right. just flies to them, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. The, if you want to deal with Leaf Shield, either just shield and wait for it to end, or you want to hit it as it comes out. Because just, okay, so just like Villager's Lloyd Rocket, if, if, when they're throwing it out, it doesn't actually have an initial hitbox. Okay. So you can punish them right before it actually comes out. Good to know. So if you know they're going to, if you know Mega Man's going to Leaf Shield, if you hit him right as it comes out, you win. And the shield doesn't actually hit you, and it just goes over. Good to know. Oh, so Ooh, I think he's trying to go for uh, yeah, the attack cancel. Yeah, it's hard to do, but I mean, I it's hard to do because I never practice it. It's 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 a little bit annoying to get used to in the beginning, but once you have it down the muscle memory, yeah. it's relatively easy. Like anything, like perfect pivoting was so hard in the beginning, but like near the end of Smash Four, I could do it like any like easily. You know what I mean? Yep. All right, so Toxic actually has a solid lead now. Leo's gonna have a little bit of trouble getting it. Because now he has to approach the win. Oh, gets the That was yep. so big brain. Oh, my God. Yep. See, I would just air dodge in. That's the one. Okay, <laughs> so Mega Man especially can actually hold that F smash. It has to release at a certain charge. What? Oh, I didn't know that. So a lot of characters can hold the charges. So like three seconds. Be, yeah, so be because the, the F smash continuously grows as it charges, it has to release at a certain charge. It, it doesn't point. cap out and wait? It doesn't cap out and wait, no. He has to release it. See how? You have so much knowledge of Mega Man, dude. Wow. It's just me staring at the characters and watching them play. Wow. Yeah, it's one of those things like they have to release the charge. They can't just hold it. I'm gonna go to you for a uh, match experience. Hey, uh, <laughs> what did you versus this character, man? Any, anything I should know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Toxic, solidly now, almost laughing percent. And Leo, yeah, Leo's having a lot of trouble now with the rushdown, especially with Roy's power. Oh, yeah. tries to go for fair. Tried to go for a fair. I don't know why he did that because you can't grab the ledge just if you throw the out. If there is one thing, I'm really wondering if. Toxic realizes that close quarters is heavily in his favor, and that he should probably ban Town and Kalos. Oh, they're running it right back. No, they're not. Just he's kidding. I think he might be switching to the. Yeah, he's switching to the Mies. Who? And I'm Leo? Yeah, I saw him playing with early oh, friendlies. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, so he's going to go for Gunner, trying to zone him out. I may have to go play very soon. Yeah. I'll probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm queued up next. There's like no more setups to run, or no more matches to run besides mine. So going to the gunner. See, I don't understand this pick. The gunner? Yes. Different kind of zoner. But very similar game plan to Mega Man. Yes. And but you can't launch yourself as far anymore. And gunner doesn't have an option beneath. That's true. But I feel like the the thing about playing a, a me fighter is there's like 12 different moves for every character. And like, how often are you playing against those as opposed to like a Mega Man? So there's some a bit of unfamiliarity that could be there, and then some like, not I guess like gimmicks that do, that do work. You see, like there could be setups that like he does just, just like generally unaware of. Okay, so yeah, does that I make sense? Yeah, I see the moveset, but it, the moveset using is very still similar to Mega Man's, where it's kind of just poking away at the long range with that neutral B and the fair, but and also keeping like close to range with the bomb drop. But at the same time, this mat, this probably is one of the worst like combination moves to get someone off you because he doesn't have reflectors to change his position for fair movement. He doesn't have a really strong grenade drop to keep someone wall from approaching him either. So if Toxic gets Leo above him or off stage, he's going to have a lot of trouble getting back on or getting That's the pressure true. off. The thing is, like, he got away with playing on Kalos. Um, I have the thing is, if I ever play against a knee fighter, I'm telling him, you have to show me exactly what moves you're using because I don't know what the difference. Like I don't even know what is down. B. I know what that's down B, right? Yeah, that's the bomb. That's the grenade drop. I could say that's either down B or side B. I don't know what that is. Side B. Yeah, that's side B. Nice. That's okay, so cap, yep, pop the reach the winding with the upper. But, but it's, 
Yeah, this setup specifically plays similar, very similar to Mega Man. I, yeah, this is, he is banking on matchup and familiarity right now, though. And it's working because yeah. I, I don't even know what the side B does. I just saw it like explode halfway into the air. It's like think of it like Samus is like missile. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And also for this bomb drop specifically, if you parry the first hit, like the little the little dink that it does, you have to parry the second hit. Good to know. Because it does have two hitboxes. It has the little one that's rolling and it has the explosion. And if you parry the little little roll. Or as it's coming up, then it'll explode again. Oh my gosh, that was so sick. We're trying to catch. That was interesting spacing on that grab. Okay, Toxic doesn't know how to deal with these sets. He, it's a very similar game plan to when he was fighting Magna. Kind of just rush him down. And, and nice attempt on the Trump. He hasn't been doing that often. Trumping in this game is still good, but it's also not as good. It's not as good, but like the thing is, no one no one goes for it because it's not as good, and because no one goes for it, people get caught off guard and die yeah. to it at the same time. Not, see, I would I would have died to that. I'm like, what is that? Yeah, it's Samus's missile. Like okay. it acts exactly like Samus's missile. Okay, so one's homing, one's not. Well, no, like just it just goes straight. Well, one explodes halfway. Well, no, that's like you got hit by it. It has a certain distance that once it explodes. Uh -huh. yeah, it doesn't go all the way. It has a distance and then it explodes. He got hit by that early. So if I get this far and play him, I'm definitely banning Kalos in town. Too much space for sure. Nice mix-up recovery. Okay, good. So he has to get really good momentum right now. Toxic is at a huge deficit. So, yeah, no. At this, at this, get, for this uh, move set specifically, this combination, the Mii does not have very good diagonal pressure. Okay. It's a very much vertical and, and horizontal. Yep. Because up air covers the horizontal, and then those moves all go straight. Ooh. He doesn't have any change of whether it goes at like an, at an angle. So diagonal pressure is really where struggling. If you can kind of mix up how you're approaching from that angle, the Mii will have a lot of tough time keeping you out. And like I said, he doesn't have the. Ref so the one good thing about the reflector is it allows him to change direction. That lets him bounce back and forth. But he doesn't have that. So if he gets caught facing one way, he's stuck facing that way. Got it. So like, because bomb drop has a decent amount of end lag, so he can't use, really use that to mix up the direction. Okay. Yeah. He is using the bomb drop to try to catch him jumping and then punish with the cover, but. Seems like Toxic caught on some more to that. Ooh, he could have done another F tilt. <laughs> he F tilt, F smash, dancing blade. No, it's because the F tilt actually pushed him far enough away to whiff a grab. He could have just hit it again. Yep. But I think this game's going to MM Leo unless he can close out of stock very soon. Uh, you can also you can bounce the, those little bombs back. If you hit them. See, I wouldn't know that either. Yeah, you can hit, you can hit them and they'll bounce back. But you have to be really careful because if you hit them too close, they'll just explode. One whiff punish, and that's it. Yep. Good stuff. Catches the jump in with the up smash. Well Leo, done. This character pick will. Will actually work. Toxic did a good job at bringing it back just to Mega Man, no, but the Mii Gunner caught him off guard really It was hard. definitely a good choice for going Roy, but I think the combination of going that unfamiliar character and uh, giving him a lot of space, uh, I got to